Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. Woo! And, um, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, it's been since what? Last week? Uh, since I've been doing the uh, keys, the Ready Player One event. Uh, by the way, yes, I do have the Jade key. Yes, I did get the, um, the, um, copper key and the copper key I actually got on Friday but you guys have been seeing the videos as I release them because I recorded like three of them on Wednesday night no Thursday night and I released them Friday Saturday Sunday so <clears throat> oh no Steed's gotta go bye Steed bye Steed boy oops boy saddy face winky saddy face <laughs> so sorry dude that's okay. If you guys don't know who Steed is, he hangs out inside the Discord. If you guys want to join the Discord, the link is in the description down below. Um, this part of my base, or like this plot, <clears throat> it doesn't have any special things because the none of the bridges reach anywhere. But um, I did need to load in on a public server because I haven't played in public for a little while. And I wanted to go in and kind of clean up. And then I realized something. Um, the doors themselves, each one of these doors, they have scripts in them. So every time you click on one of the things like like that, it's got a it's got a script inside there. One of the things that could be causing a lot of lag is I've got additional doors up there that I've I've just not been using at all. So I'm going to start deleting them. Oh. <clears throat> Basically, it's going to be some cleanup because the scripts that are running inside of the whoops, I completely missed the scripts that are running inside the doors could possibly be what's causing my base to lag out so bad, even though I've only got like a um, 10, 10 or 11 database size. Uh, it, it really could be this right here. This could be the reason. So, I mean, this entire episode is just going to be me deleting and destroying doors. <laughs> and amongst other things, it's, it's basically cleanup time. So that's what we're doing today. And, um, I do feel like, um, my last episode, the, uh, Rebecca or sorry, TikTok Twerks, uh, memorial, it was really, really emotionally charged. And I think I can go back down there. So <clears throat> I will show you how to go and get the yellow wood. Um, but still thank you guys so much for all your comments and stuff on the last video. It was, it was really emotional. I didn't think it was going to be quite that emotional but thank you guys um a lot of you were really respectful there were a couple of non-respectful comments inside the the comment section and i took care of the ones that i thought were just <clears throat> a lot of you said that you didn't know who she was um i did post a link inside that video so you could go check out her videos and and see um basically everything that happened and like um, well, not what happened, but see her videos and see who she was and what she did. She was a huge community part of uh, Lumber Tycoon 2. So that's why the, the memorial was made. That's why she's missed so much. And that's why you see so many comments on, on that particular video. So. Okay. Uh, moving on. Um, for the copper key. If you want to get the copper key. Not this one, this is the Jade key. If you wanna get the copper key, um, go inside Jailbreak and uh, ram the orange house next to the meteorite. Um, it's just right across the street from the meteorite. Um, they did make all the rules easier. And you guys have been commenting in there like, everything, code. Oh, it's so much easier now. I, I know, I'm, it was so much easier the day that me and my daughter went and did it. I uh, actually, asked her as soon as I got home from work I'm like do you want to go get the copper key and she's like yeah so we went and played it was awesome it's like a little father daughter play date it was fun anyhow once we uh once we got the key like we ended up playing past dinner time to try and get the key and everything else and like it was pretty pretty fun but um do, 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 found out that we could pri play in private servers you can play in a private server and get it <clears throat> and it does work. So, uh, first thing you have to do is you have to ram the house with your car and get the um, chicken cut scene. Oh, that's going to be hard to do. Hold on. Um, you have to get the chicken cut scene. Once you have the chicken cut scene, you can go and rob one of the three places. It does not have to be at night anymore. You can rob it any time of the day. 
Uh, you must play as a criminal. Can't play as a cop. Once you have... Oh, man. I'm not going to be able to get that, am I? Oh, gosh. Once you have um, robbed one of the places, it should say you found a fraction of... Uh, the fracture of a... Not a fracture. You have found a portion of a key or a por portion of a token. Once you have that... There we go. Then you can return um, to the waterfall that is beside the shooting range. Uh, it's the one with the big gun on top of the building. It's on the way in between the prison and the meteorite. Go inside the waterfall and there's um, <clears throat> cops inside there and they'll say, there's one by the name of Wade. And you'll take this token that's created from, uh, from all those pieces and uh, give it to him. He'll insert it in the bottom of this thing and he'll ask you a whole bunch of questions about um, his high score in Pac-Man, the highest score possible in Pac-Man, stuff like that. And that will actually uh, be posted for you. So you, you don't actually have to memorize the numbers or any of that. It'll all be there for you. Um, so, oh, by the way, before before I get too far into this, thank you everyone to uh, who helped out with creating these doors for me. Because, I mean, there is a, a ton of them. And uh, Grammy still has a base full of them. So shout out to Grammy for holding all those for me and putting together the invent to uh, get all the doors built. Because that was an amazing work and amazing effort. Anyhow, <clears throat> okay, back to Wade. We, um, once you, once you um, answer all the questions, he'll give you a key. And the key goes to a lockbox. The lockbox is inside the first red car oh gosh oh gosh how am I gonna get down there um, maybe I can move this down here there we go yeah that's what I can do um, and then I can move this one move move you right over here there we go <laughs> Plane in the sky. Destroyed. And then we'll move this one back up. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna need to use that to move back over. Um, once you answer all the questions, and then you can go back and get the lockbox. The lockbox will have um, a cartridge in it called Gel Invaders. And what you have to do is take <clears throat> Gel Invaders and go um, back to Wade, who's behind the waterfall. Once you get back to Wade, he will. Um, insert it into his little PSP or or handheld device and you play the game. <clears throat> you have to get uh, at least 10 kills or 10 um, shoot 10 of the little cars and it'll give you 100 points. It's 10 points apiece. Once you have um, all 100 points, congratulations, you got the copper key. Or yeah, I keep wanting to say bronze. But that's how to complete that one. Um, the Jade Key. In order to get the Jade Key, I know, this was the moment that you guys were waiting for, right? Uh, to get the Jade Key, there are, uh, the game is Phantom Forces, and there are two levels that have this. But there is a vending machine that has a game on the front of it. Uh, you'll see a whole bunch of gray squares. Now, you must have the Copper Key in order for this to work, otherwise it doesn't work at all. Um, go and find those vending machines. And what will happen is you can shoot out the lights on the front. Now there are these things called solvers. You can look them up, uh, Google them, and it, they're, it's called lights out solver. Um, basically, it will you set up. I went too far. <laughs> you set up uh, your solver to look like the front of that machine, and then you shoot the uh, you click solve and you shoot the numbers out as they appear on your solver. Once you've made them all gray, it'll give you a key. It'll say you found the jade key, and it works like one of the knives in uh, in <clears throat> Phantom Forces. So you put that as your sidearm. Um, the levels that you can get this on are the highway level, the one with a really long highway. You have to go past the parking lot, like from the highway, go past the parking lot, which is the double layer. 
parking lot into the building that's just across the way. Uh, the the center the door is in the center. Turn to the right, head up the stairs, take a right, go to the end of the hallway. The vending machines will be on your left. <clears throat> Hope you heard that. Um, the next one is, um, oh, what level was it? The crane. It's the crane level. So if you're in the center of the map, look for again for the the car parking garage. Go past the car 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 parking garage, and there is like a uh, a car shop or garage shop in the back, and inside their break room is a vending machine. Shoot out the lights and get your key. Once you have the key, <clears throat> there is a map uh, that has a whole bunch of neighborhoods in it. It's got a whole bunch of um, what is that light? Oh, those are my lights. I forgot I put cell phone tower lights on. Uh, once you get to, where is it? The, um, sorry, lost train of thought there for a second. ADHD, by the way, it happens. It's cool. Okay, where was I? Oh, neighborhood. There's a neighborhood with a whole bunch of uh, houses in it. In the center, there's a tree house, and there's an orange house and a blue house next to it. Go into the blue house, head upstairs, and look for the door that has a keyhole. Now, I don't know if you actually have to hit it with the with the key, but you press F on your keyboard to strike with a knife. So just strike the door with the key, and it will take you into a special game where you have to defeat zombies. I think there's seven waves of zombies, and it gets progressively harder each time. Now, <clears throat> I tried for about three hours to do this on my own, and then finally somebody said, um, find a place where the zombies can't get you. So when you first start, you're up on this little balcony thing with uh, the church, right? And there's stairways to the left and the right. Head straight to the back, turn to the right, and then go to the right again into the uh, the graveyard area. Thank you so much for the subscribe. Who was that? Oh, I didn't see it. Uh, head to the right again and go into the graveyard area. At the back of the graveyard area, there's going to be this huge, like, wood ramp. <clears throat> On the back of that wood ramp, you can walk up the wall, turn around, and shoot downward. The zombies cannot climb up that wall. Now, the problem with this is uh, there's at least three to four zombies that are always left over. So you have to jump down and go find those zombies, but don't kill the last one. Have him chase you all the way back to that that spot and then kill him. Because if you if you kill him while you're down there, 60 more zombies in the next wave is gonna happen and you're not gonna be able to run back into him in time. So it just happens. <sighs> nice, Rocket just got the uh, Jade Key. Good job, Rocket. <clears throat> Sorry, sorry, I'm not talking at the moment. Oh, by the way, I was going to uh, continue building on to these things because we uh, made a whole bunch of them and then never did anything with them. So we will get these building. Oh, am I going to be able to aim these over here? What about that direction? Can I? Can I go? Oh man! Oh man! Can I go this way? Yes. Yes, we can. Can we go one more? Okay. I can't, I can't. Oh, man. <clears throat> How far this direction can I build? Wow. So I've got a lot of work cut out for me to cover this, uh, this top portion. Sorry, I, I, I was blabbing. <laughs> <laughs> Too much talk, code. Not enough display and demonstration. That's. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just find it. Uh, I find it very interesting figuring out puzzles and huge, huge shout out to the Discord and especially to Ichu and to Lin and to um, Fairy. Um, it, there, there were some others that were there helping me out as well, but those are the three names that I remember specifically for helping me get the jade, the jade key itself. Um, without you guys, I would not have gotten it. Like, all your guys' clues and helps and everything else. Um, also, a shout out to Evan Bear for um, his stream and figuring out, or have, having his fans find a lot, of, uh, a lot of the clues and stuff during the stream. Um, <clears throat> who else helped out? 
there were quite a few. I mean, it was it was a huge team effort on everyone's part. It was amazing watching the community come together to try and solve these. And the clue wasn't even out yet. Like, this was before we even had a clue on how to do it. Wait, did that not place? I think that was a double. Oh, darn it. That's okay. We'll put one right there. I think that's right. Is that right? I don't want to put it down and it not be right. So, let's move this one. Okay, it's right. Uh, let's get you a little bit closer. <clears throat> so the reason I'm leaving that gap right there is because I actually placed one, but it didn't um, res into the world. Like, it, it's not... It's not there. Technically, it is there, but... I just can't see it. Did not register on the client side. Server side's good. And now I can't... Why can't I attach that? Come here, you. Get on there. I didn't say not build. I said build. <clears throat> I think that's as far as I'm going to go right there. Because I got to I gotta leave a gap so the trucks and stuff can get under. So, there's this. How far across should I go? I should go a little bit further. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is that past the line? I don't know if that's past the line or not. Yeah, we're good. We're good. There's gonna be a little bit, little bitty gap. Oh wait, did I? <laughs> <clears throat> Code. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I took, I took out part of the floor instead of, uh, instead of the other. That's funny. Okay. So let's go right here, and now we can go this direction oh, and good if this is your first time joining us I'd like to welcome you to bring out your oil paints and paint along with us sorry I'm just trying to pull a Bob Ross there Bob Ross shout out to Bob Ross all right uh, for those of you that don't know Bob Ross I do encourage you to Go to PBS and check out some of his videos and participate along with us. <laughs> Here's a happy little drawbridge right here. And there's his, his friend named Clyde. Little friend named Clyde. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. <laughs> All right, Code. You've been building too long. Good. This is, this is, uh, oh, okay. So the reason I'm not getting bombarded right now is because I've got my follow turned off. Oops. All right, let's go to privacy. Settings, or sorry, settings, privacy, and turn that back on. Who can, who can follow me? Everyone. Who can join me in game? Everyone. There we go. All right. So, sorry about that. I, I just realized nobody could follow me in. Um, and that was because I was trying to get the Jade Key and I was going to servers that had nobody in them. Right there. Because that's, that's the one that's got the, the gap on it. So, just filling everything in. Oh, man. Come on, come on. There we go. How far along are we? How far into it? We're at 19 minutes? Oh my gosh, Code. <clears throat> you gotta do a 30 minute episode. I'll probably do, uh, do at least one a day. There is a new game I want to try out um, called Make Cell. I've had the game for a couple of days now. Got a free key. Huge shout out to Will over there at Pop Cannibal. Um, for hooking us up But I will let you guys see that here in just a little bit. Uh, I Plan on doing the first episode by the way Okay, I think that's all I've got for the pre-built Goldwood if I want the uh, If I want any more I'm gonna have to go 
grab more gold wood. Oh, and by the way, <clears throat> apparently gold wood does not stay, or any wood does not stay past a certain height after you reload. Because I had a bunch of gold wood. A bunch. And it was up there, and it was down here. But it's gone now. And yeah. Hello. Hello, Goldwood. <clears throat> so this will work. This will work. This is what we'll do. By the way, I, somebody did suggest that I put a conveyor belt to bring all uh, the wood up to the top. Uh, I liked the idea, but no. No, I don't think so. Um, you saw how hard it was for me to put that conveyor belt system together, and I mean, I'm barely using that one anyway. Um, and it would take forever. Like, it's just it's just easier to throw it in the back of a car and run it up. I mean, do, do you guys see how long it took to make this ramp? So, by the way, the, the lag does feel... Does the lag feel better? It feels, it feels less. Um, I wanted to blame my graphics card for the longest time. I'm like, well, it's just my graphics card. It's not good enough for Roblox. And then I started looking at the specs that I've got on my laptop versus what's required of Roblox in this kind of environment. <clears throat> okay, so you know, I have a Lenovo Y70 laptop. It has a NVIDIA GeForce uh, GTX, sorry, 860 GTX. It's a really powerful, um, it's not the best, but it's a really, really powerful um, graphics card for, for what it is, you know? And whoops, that's not going to go in that way. Let's go this direction. And it just wasn't handling it. I found out it was my internet. I've been having problems with streaming and I've been having problems with everything else. So blame it on the lag. Is, is was very true. So hashtag blame it on the lag down below. Um, that was with the streams. That was with Fortnite. That was with Lumber. It was with a lot of games. And the problem was not my computer. So Lenovo Y70 laptop, I do apologize to you. I shall dub it Steven. Wait, don't we already have a Steven? We, we have Steven already. Oh gosh. Is that going to go too long? Oh, <gasps> no. Okay, okay. Um... And move. Oh no. Is it going to get stuck? Don't get stuck, please. Okay, it didn't get stuck. B. Put that back. Okay, cool. Ooh. And chop, chop, chop. That is so cool. I love this chop saw up here. Like this is the best chop saw ever in all of history and all of time. <laughs> Just kidding. Probably a ton of saws better than that. All right, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. It's loud, buddy. All right, so now just grab these, put them right there. Good. Next. <laughs> by the way, you might have noticed that it was 1.2 by something. 1.2 by 1.2. Instead of the norm of 1.1.1. Or, sorry. 1.0, 1.0. 1.1.1. .1. <laughs> what is that, an IP address? No, that was just... Going off on a tangent. There we go. And drop. There we go. Sweet. Back on you go. Should I hook up more? I should. I think I'll do that. <laughs> when I get around to it. Like, I know I've said, hey, I'll do this next episode. And then I totally don't do that the next episode. That's the ADHD taking over, and that's me not writing down things and stuff like that. And that's okay, because every episode that I've ever played, it's just me coming in, having fun, and I love it. I love playing Lumber. 
and I love talking to you guys, and I love getting your comments back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just kind of ran off there. Whoa. Lag spike! Well, maybe it was a lag spike. Maybe it was something else. There we go. Oh, fun. Don't film me now. Not at the end of the episode. Getting so close. Oh, yeah, like 25 minutes or something like that. I'll get this filled in. What was that? 145%. Look at that. Yeah, that's definitely happening in between a lag spike. There's one more piece right there. Uh, also, some of you have told me to uh, to put guide rails on this. I found if I put guides there, it kind of bumps. Like there's a little bump that happens. And if that bump happens, it throws, us, throws it off guide and it doesn't work correctly. So, I don't know... Maybe, um, let's try something here. Let's, uh, let's go check out the wedges. Come here, wedge. Come here, wedge. <clears throat> so what if I were to wedge it a little bit? Can I do that? Hold on. Rotate, turn, rotate. Uh, turn, turn. There we go. That would work, kind of. But I have to do that. Ooh, no. No, I don't think so. That's, that's a crazy look. <laughs> what were you thinking, Code? Well, you see, the problem is... Okay. <clears throat> Let's turn this on. Boom. Oh, it's so loud. By the way, the Jade Hat is amazing. Jade Key Hat. Jade Key Hat. So oh, amazing. Oh, I can't zoom in any closer. Can't zoom in any closer than that. Oh, we're close. Okay. Come on, come on. Just cut, 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 cut. I only need like three pieces. Three more. Three more. I won't put those in place before we leave. Uh, still cutting, still cutting, still cutting. Good? Okay. So, tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to show you um, what is happening to the wood. So, come on. And that should be it. That's all I can do. Okay. <clears throat> so this piece of wood right here. Okay. I'm going to take this piece of wood. I'm going to place it right there on top of the sawmill. So the next time I load in, this wood, that wood over there, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be gone. It's just not going to be there. So, and we'll look for it down at the bottom. Uh, chops, like I could try and mark it with a chop, but it, I don't have an axe on me. And it would be gone next time because the chops don't save. But that's it for this episode. Good build. We'll uh, actually, can I put these in place? Yeah, we're, we've got like two minutes. So <clears throat> thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, as we build up the rest of the, the thing, get rid of some of the doors, got rid of some of the lag. I can definitely tell a, a difference. We'll see We'll see what happens with the, um, with the build itself. Uh, did I leave anything up there? I may have left something on top of my palm bridge, but could you imagine if the palm bridge was that wide? Oh my gosh. The base how amazing. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Outro.